On Monday, we found out that the U.S. manufacturing operating conditions improved for the first time since February and that the Eurozone manufacturing economy returned to growth in July. Meanwhile, the Swiss Consumer Price Index, CPI, fell by 0.2% in July. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Tuesday, we'll be eyeing New Zealand's employment change and Australia's home loans after RBA's rate decision earlier during Tuesday's Asian session. Today, I'm looking at the dollar Swissy pair, which found support exactly at the 0.90 psychological level that I identified last week and bounced back up. However, its gains are now capped by the lower band of the Ichimoku cloud on the four hour chart. While this could be a temporary pullback, we need a confirmation of a break above the Ichimoku cloud in order to call this the new uptrend. Do you think the dollar Swissy pair will fall back to 0.90 before forming a new uptrend? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Technical YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.